Hey, YouTubians. We're in for a little treat today. I am going to make some cornbread tonight. What you're going to need is you're going to need some almond milk. You're going to need some plain yogurt, not vanilla flavored, not nothing like that, just plain yogurt. I have some vegan, I can't believe it's not butter, and I have the Jiffy, and this is the vegetarian um, mix, okay? Uh, since it's not Thanksgiving, I'm not making this from scratch. Sometimes I add a little cornmeal to the mix, but um, for right now, this is what I'm going to be using. Also, I have some uh, flaxseed gel. This is flaxseed gel that I'll be using instead of eggs. So, let's get started. I know you guys sometimes want to see my face, so peace, here I am. So, like I said, I'm going to make some cornbread and um, I'm not gonna use any eggs, I'm not gonna use any milk, and I'm not gonna use any butter. But what I make is gonna be very good. So, come on and join me. First things first, and of course, you know, I'm making this to go with some of my beans. So, let me start by opening up this little box. You know that they call this vegetarian because the regular Jiffy has lard in it. And this Jiffy right here, they use vegetable uh, oil or vegetable, yeah, vegetable oil. So I'm gonna go ahead and, like I said, I've preheated this oven for 400 degrees. I'm gonna go ahead and The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to add I'm going to add my yogurt. This yogurt right here is a plant-based yogurt. It's by Kite Hill and as you can see it's plain. Okay. Now I was looking for one that was a little more um, uh, less sweet. This has this ha I can taste the sweetness in this yogurt, but it's not a lot. Um, back in the day, I used to use sour cream in my cornbread. Okay. The next thing that I'm going to use is I'm going to use this flaxseed gel. One of these here. This is a tablespoon. I'm going to use two tablespoons. What I'm going to do is I'm going to say that that's one quarter spoon and two quarters. Okay. Hopefully that'll work better than the last time. I made the I made some cornbread last week. Okay. And I and it was delicious. Um so this is what it looks like when you add the um, yogurt and the flaxseed gel. And at this point, I only need a little itty teeny weeny bit of almond milk, not much. And I'm gonna go ahead For those of you who like sweet cornbread, this is what that's going to give you. What I want to do is I'm going to take about a tablespoon of butter. Of, I can't believe it's not butter. And I like it to be nice and melted, so I'm going to pop this in the microwave real quick. This is, I'm going to set it for 30 seconds. When I put it in my cast iron firing pan, um, I do it on the stove. There we go. All right. 
this should do it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to spread this around a little bit. Excellent. And at this point, I am ready to pour in my cornbread. I don't like to leave no food behind, let me tell you. And again, I didn't use any eggs, no milk. I used yogurt. This is gonna make it very nice and moist. Okay. okay. All right, four zero zero, it's set at four zero zero. And I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the oven. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe up here. Remember I used that flaxseed gel. How do you make the flaxseed gel? Two cups of water, a quarter cup of flaxseed, let it boil until you get a nice slimy consistency or until your mixture reduces down to um, one and a half cups. And that should be a nice consistency. That's the rule of thumb I like to use when I'm using it to, when I'm making cornbread, cakes, and things like that. So, um, we're gonna let this cook for um, 30, maybe 35 minutes, and we'll come back. Okay then. guys, looks like my cornbread is ready. So I'm gonna go ahead and take it out. Okay guys, here is the moment of truth. There's that cornbread. And I have to admit, it is a lot on the hot side. Mmm. It's delicious. Just like grandma used to make. Okay. And remember, I said that it was a slight sweetness to it. And I do mean a slight sweetness that comes from the yogurt. Okay. So guys, I want to thank you. For joining me while I make this cornbread and I hope that this um, recipe will be useful to you. Thanks for keeping the sister strong. Till my next video, I'll talk to you soon.